Hey guys, Dorothea from the future here. I just wanted to pop in and give a big shout out and thank you to the sponsors of this video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the leading provider of online counseling with over 4,000 licensed counselors at your disposal and over 500,000 individuals who have already gotten help. The topic of this video, postpartum depression, is something that I'm gonna be opening up about and I think it's important to shed some light and destigmatize this, this issue, not only for cases of postpartum postpartum depression, whether it's you that's been affected by it or someone that you love, but also just for cases of depression in general. Life hits you and something happens and you aren't prepared and you feel down or whatever reason, mental health issues affect one in four people and more than 56% of those people don't get the help that they need. BetterHelp provides an amazing service that I have personally tried and honestly, I wish I'd tried it sooner. I sought them out because I'd heard about them through other sponsorships on YouTube. I started getting counseling from them just a few weeks ago. And man, I wish I'd asked for help sooner because it's caused some really big breakthroughs for me, especially now, although I feel like now, 15 months out, I'm kind of out of the stink of postpartum depression that was my experience. I'm still going through a lot and I still have a lot of issues that I personally need to sort through. And so having someone to talk to, someone unbiased who can just be there to listen or to give me advice has been... <laughs> priceless, honestly. BetterHelp provides therapy in four different ways. You can do video chats, phone calls, real-time chats, which includes audio messaging, and direct messaging, which also includes audio messaging. BetterHelp is available to individuals worldwide, so it's not just exclusively for people in the United States. You can get help anywhere in the world. What you do is you go on their website and they have you fill out this really quick quiz talking a little bit more intimately about who you are and what you're struggling with. Based on the results of that quiz, they will match you within 24 hours with a licensed therapist that matches you. All of their therapists have a minimum of three years and 2,000 hours of hands-on experience. My favorite thing about BetterHelp is that you actually sign up for a monthly subscription, which makes it super affordable. Most therapy does not work like this, so this is really Really special. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to leave the house, which again was a big deal for me. And it's a monthly subscription, so it's not per session, it's per month where you have a whole month of unlimited access to this therapist. The average cost being $65 per month for unlimited messaging and one either phone call or video call per week. So four phone calls or video calls per month. By using my links, which I'll put on the screen as well as in the description box down below, you will receive an exclusive 10% off your first month subscription to BetterHelp. I really honestly encourage you guys to try this out. I wouldn't have partnered with them if I didn't think it was something worthwhile and worth talking about. And like I said, the subject of this video is kind of heavy and it's something I've dealt with. I know a lot of people struggle with and I think it's really important to put your pride to the side and just get the help that you need. And it's amazing that this is available today from the convenience of your home, from the convenience of your screen or your phone, whatever device that you have, that you can get the help that you need. It's affordable, made even more affordable if you use my links. And it's just something worth trying out that I think everyone could get help and would benefit from it to be honest but especially people who are really needing it who are still here listening to me please check out those links i encourage you to do so and get the help that you need with better help without further ado let's get to the video hey guys how's it going dorothea here once again you guys know on my channel i talk about everything whether it's about travel or brazil languages religion, motherhood, all sorts of different topics. Today I felt inspired to talk a little bit more about motherhood, specifically postpartum depression, which is something that I have experience with. And I, I do think that every woman goes through some version of this. It can vary greatly depending on the person and their circumstances, but it's very normal to experience postpartum depression after you've given birth. And it's something that's not talked about enough. At the time of making this video, Max is about 14 months old, so that means I'm also 14 months old as a mother. <laughs> I have 14 months experience as a new mom. Today, I am feeling a million times better than ever in the last 14 months. And it seems to just keep getting better and better. Although I will say that right when you think you've mastered motherhood, like right when you think you've got it all under control and you know what you're doing, they change and something else comes up. Some, some other new challenge presents itself and you have to rethink 
everything. I think the first one to three months was probably like hell. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fine to joke about now, but when I was going through it and when you're going through it, or if you know someone who's going through it, whether it's your spouse, your partner, a friend, anyone, a sister, you know, like you just don't feel like yourself. It's almost like you're mourning the person who you used to be. In the middle of that mourning process, which is very difficult, your hormones are all over the place, fluctuating like crazy. You have a new person literally attached to you all the time, whether you're breastfeeding or not, you're constantly with that person. And if you really stop and think about it, like if you had to stay with one person all the time, 24 seven, anyone, it doesn't matter how old they are, how they are in relation to you, anybody, if you have, to, if you're forced to spend that much time with one person, you would go a little bit crazy. Then add on the fact that this person is extremely incapable of taking care of themselves and you are the primary caregiver and it adds a whole other level of frustration and exhaustion that is hard to explain until you go through it. I had a conversation recently with a good friend of mine who is also a new mom. Her daughter is about six months older than Max. She was opening up to me about her postpartum journey and how hard it was for her and how no one had told her anything about it. No one had prepared her beforehand for what she was going to feel. She didn't really feel like it was acceptable to talk about. Like she felt very alone in her journey and it was a good conversation. It was a healing conversation for both of us to realize, wow, you went through that too? Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Oh my gosh, I thought those same thoughts. You know, your brain goes into these really dark corners. You don't even want to admit that you're thinking some of the things that you're thinking. It's almost kind of like an out of body experience because you can sense yourself feeling a lot. You can hear the thoughts going on in your brain. And at the same time, another part of you is like, where is that coming from? Why are you thinking that? That's dangerous. You don't want to do that. But what You might struggle with thoughts of self mutilation or hatred towards your child, which is so weird because you want to think that you love this child unconditionally. And I don't think these thoughts necessarily reflect a reality. Like, I don't think you necessarily hate your child if you're having hateful thoughts about your child. I think you're just in a phase of extreme adjustment and you need to be kind to yourself, be patient. It helps if you have a partner or a support system around you that can take the child off of your hands every once in a while, but not everyone has that. Even still, it's very important to try and get as much rest as possible. Again, these are all much easier said than done. When you're a new mom, it's like the last thing that usually happens is taking care of yourself. It's really hard and I'm here to tell you if you're going through it that you're gonna be okay that you're gonna get to the other side and you're gonna be glad that you survived building a relationship with a new person in your life takes time it's a myth I think that mothers will feel an automatic proximity and kinship towards their children the moment they're born of course you're gonna be happy and blissed that they're here finally but it's also a huge adjustment in one second they're born and literally in one second they they pop their heads out from then on your life will never be the same the child is born and the new mother is born as well so you're a new person one second to the next you are literally another person of course there's the physical changes to talk about your body will never be the same quite the same things that you cared about you no longer care about or the opposite things that you no longer cared about suddenly you care about a lot everyone will be telling you their opinion everyone will be trying to give you their point of view and sometimes that's helpful and sometimes it's not so helpful another thing that people don't really necessarily realize until they go through it is that you know when you're pregnant all the attention's on you everyone's doting on you everyone's just fawning over you and saying oh my gosh you're so beautiful you're glowing your belly is so beautiful can i touch your belly is he kicking yet like everyone is giving you loads of attention and it can feel really good. <laughs> it's normal to like to have attention and to have the spotlight on you. And suddenly when the child is born, all of that shifts to the child and suddenly people don't, it's not that they don't care about you, but they kind of forget, you know, they forget that you are the portal of this human life and that you matter too and that your life continues and you have a lot of things to say and worry about. You have a lot of things to express 
and suddenly a much smaller audience to express it to. Breastfeeding is a trip. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy for some women, some lucky women. It wasn't an easy journey for me at all. I struggled a lot with breastfeeding. You have to constantly learn to make compromises with these expectations that you set for yourself when you were pregnant, thinking, I wanna be this kind of mom, I want to treat my child this way, I want to give them this food or whatever. Life happens, you know, you need to stay flexible. I think that's the best quality a new mother or new parent can have is to stay flexible. As new moms, we can feel really worn out from the grind, the day-to-day -day grind. Every day kind of seems to blend together. You don't really see or notice your child growing as much as others might because you're with them all the time and it can be really draining. All of this contributes to postpartum. If you're a mom going through it right now and you're feeling a little bit crazy, a little bit loopy, like you don't recognize yourself, you don't know what's happening, I'm here to tell you that it will pass. Stay strong get the help you need if you need to go to a therapist to a psychiatrist if you need to get medicated by all means do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself i do think that the best thing you can do for yourself during this very sensitive time is first and foremost be very understanding of your circumstances. As much as you want to be hard on yourself, maybe be critical, maybe you have a perfectionist side and you feel like, oh, I shouldn't be feeling these things, you should because you are and that's enough reason. That's all the reason you need. I feel like it's a constant battle with a new baby, especially that you feel like you're so attached to them and you want to be with them every second, but at the same time, you're completely tired of them and you want them to get away from you. It's a very, contradictory thing that's happening at the same time. When you're with them, you, all you're thinking about is getting away from them. As soon as you leave them alone with another person, all you can think about is them. And you're looking at pictures of them and you're wondering how they are and you're worried. And then you get back and then you're like, I just wanna leave again. So it's, it's constantly going back and forth between these two states and that's very normal. Cry when you need to cry. Smile when you want to smile. Don't be too hard on yourself when it comes to the relationship that you're building with your baby because that's gonna take time. You just gave birth to a baby. That's pretty freaking crazy. Like, do you realize how amazing you are? Do you realize, do you give yourself enough credit for what you've done, for what you've been through? Let yourself heal. It is a healing process and postpartum is the name of the game that is healing. You're gonna heal past traumas. You're gonna heal your body physically. You're gonna heal the relationship between you and your child if there was any trauma there, if there was any damage, if there's any lack of bonding. This is the time that you're going to be creating more bonding experiences. This is the time that you're going to learn how to navigate the, your new relationship now with your partner like there's so much going on right now so go easy on yourself and just remember that you're not alone if you like this video if you like this topic please let me know in the comment section as always i'd love to talk to you guys there follow me on instagram if you're not already dorothea underline underline v same name as my channel and i will see you guys next time ciao beijos